Now, if you own the uh, Dallas Cowboys, I've been to this this uh, stadium. I took the tour. I took one of my coaching groups to this the tour. This was, it was really, really incredible tour. It's really fun. If you're ever there, do it. And uh, if you own, if you're the Dallas Cowboy, uh, Jerry Jones owns this. You think he knows his overhead nut? He knows what it costs. Well, how much revenue he needs to pay for this billion dollar building, right? So in construction, you need to know the same thing. You know what it needs to cost. You need to know how much sales you need, how much labor you need, how much margin, markup, what's your overhead. You need to know that, right? So the question is, let's start with our overhead. I call it the nut. We got to crack the nut. It's the fixed cost of doing business. GNA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I hate the way QuickBooks is set up. It says cost of goods sold. That's a donut shop PL. It's not a contractor. Contractors have overhead and they have job costs. They don't have expenses. Overhead, job costs. Change all your, your templates. Change everything to construction lingo. Job cost, overhead, net profit. None of this indirect expense. I don't know what the hell that is. Anyway, okay. So here we go. Fixed cost of doing business, right? It's not a percentage. It's a lump sum amount of money. Do you know your overhead? Okay. So it's your nut. How much you have to crack to make your overhead plus profit? All right. So in the old days, the town, the the uh, circus would come to town, and they would take the nut off the wagon the horses pulled. So the so the wagon couldn't move until they paid the rent. That's the nut. They get the nut back. So that's that's the overhead. Now, if you believe that, I don't know. Do you believe it? Uh, did I make that up? I'm not sure. We'll see. But anyway, check it out. So that I, I can hear you now. Alexa does that. Uh, <laughs> fixed cost of doing business, right? So it's your management, accounting, insurance, CPA, legal, estimator, bidding expenses, sales, marketing, commissions. Office equipment, supplies, utilities, computer, website, software, closed job expenses, you know, all this kinds of stuff. Warranty work, non-job charge, anything that happens in the job, project manager, superintendent, field labor, it's supervisors, foreman. So keep it low. The key is to keep it low. Uh, so let's figure it out. Okay, what's your expenses? To stay open. Okay, so I've got a long list. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing. This is an example. Don't use these numbers. Don't use these percentages. This is just a sample example. So don't just make a note. Don't don't use these numbers. Don't use these percentages. It, it is what it is. Your salary for your president, salary for your staff, whatever your labor burden is, just for your overhead. And then and then you have some labor that's charged to overhead that, you know, during the winter they come in, you pay them to sweep the floor or whatever you do. Uh, so, so there's some, there's always a little bit of net field labor in the overhead, not all the labor, just maybe you got a training session. Maybe you got uh, some downtime You bring a guy in for a week, whatever. Then you got non-job charge equipment. So that would be the president, the estimator, not nothing in the field. Then you got field equipment. So in field equipment, in this example, and I'll show you on our p &L, we actually made money on our field equipment by job charging it at a 15% return. So we booked 500 grand worth of material and we made 96, we, it only cost us 400 grand. We made 96 grand. Then we've got our office, rent, facilities, phones, all those kinds of things, websites, estimating sales, marketing, training, insurance, interest banking, CPA, legal, closed jobs, association, training, travel costs, hire me, of course, contributions, charity, miscellaneous, and whatever's left here property tax. I don't have depreciation in here. You have to decide what you want that before or after net profit. You're going to pay it though. So, so where are we? And uh, no, you're not. So what's your overhead? So when you call me with a question, I'm going to say, what's your overhead? Uh, I don't know. Well, I thought you were the accounting manager. Uh, you're the owner. Uh, I don't know. I think it's around 6%. 6% of what? 6% of sales, job costs, what if they go up? What if they go down? Does your overhead go up or down? No, it's a lump sum number. Get it? Okay, I've said it enough. It's not cost of goods sold. It's non-job charged, okay? So let's get that figured out. And I talked about the how much you pay the over. The owner profit is not owner's compensation. We went through this before.